Welcome to this part of brain teasers. In the given figure, you can see a shunting yard with two wagons and one locomotive. Let's say this is wagon A, this is wagon B, and this one here is our locomotive. The wagons have a length of 5 meters and the locomotive has a length of 10 meters. Both the wagons are having length equal to 5 meters and the locomotive has a length of 10 meters. The length of track between this stop and the left switch is 5 meters. This is the stop and this one here is the left switch. This one here is the right switch and this one here is the top switch. And the length of track between the stop and the left switch is equal to 5 meters. So this length is equal to 5 meters. And because of this, the locomotive cannot change the track on the left switch because locomotive is having length equal to 10 meters and the length of track is only 5 meters. The length of track between the stop and the right switch is equal to 15 meters. So this length is equal to 15 meters and the locomotive can move forward and backward and can both pull and push wagons. How must the locomotive shunt the wagons to arrive in a situation where the wagons have changed places and the locomotive is back in its starting position? So what we have to do in this problem? We have to shunt these two wagons by using the locomotive such that the two wagons switch their positions. Wagon A moves to the position of wagon B and wagon B moves to the position of wagon A. So this is what you have to do in this brain teaser. I hope you got the question and once you have your answer, post it in comment section.